um, it's time for our next ERL stream and we are tonight, tonight, we are today going to Rams Holmen, um, which is a beautiful place. Uh, it's filled with Ramslökar, I don't know what that's called in English, uh, but they are beautiful and they grow this whole place. Meadows with a scent of the sea and Ramson. Ramsholmen is covered in wooded meadows, uh, the most diverse type of habitat in Oland. In spring and summer, the floral splendor is stunning with wild animals, ramsons, snakes, heads, and cowslips. There are mazes of hazelnut bushes, past pollard ash trees, and coastal meadows with orchids and other rare species. The abundance of strong smelling garlic ramson has probably given the area its name. In July, the meadows are mowed in the traditional manner. Seafowl, waders, holnesses, and other species breed or search for food in the rich ground of the wooded meadow. To the east of Ramsholmen is Torpfjaden, a sea bay with some of the finest bird life. This is a nature reserve. All right. Take nothing but photos and leave nothing but footsteps. and pastures bloom in blue phase. The blue liver leaf, Hepatica nobilis, starts blooming after hazel. This common Hepatica is a perennial plant that develops slowly at its planting site. The blue phase is followed by the white phase with the wood anemone, Anemone morosa. The wood anemone can grow as a ground cover. In Gotland, when the wood anemone sprouts through the leaves and branches, people know that the time has come to tidy up the meadow and clean up the fallen branches and twigs so that the meadow can be mowed easier later in the summer. After the wood anemone comes the cowslip, Primula veris, and contributes to the yellow phase. The cowslip is Åland's national flower and it's it usually flowers in late spring when the summer is approaching. After the cowslip, there arrives another white face with the ramson. Ah. 